I miss this. There's a train coming. I think it's a good thing I got off. <laughs> Jeez. Something smells so good. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's morning rush hour, so not uncommon to see this many buses all laying over. I right, won't even get a good view from out there. If I was already down here, would have got a good shot of it arriving. Oh well, we got leaving. Heading to next stop, downtown Toronto Union Station. Ah, uh, Nova was gonna get out my shot. Damn you!
we're just getting off the train. <gasps> Holy shit! Arriving at Lawrence. Is that a freaking YRT bus? What the hell? It is. What is she doing here? I don't know if you guys call that, but I'm not joking, that's a YRT bus. What the hell is it doing here in Lawrence Station? <laughs> this is literally the cab of the ICTS Mark 1. Look at that. I'm not sure you guys can really see it because of the, uh, the reflecting sunlight. So basically, when the train's in operation, of course, there's a there's only one person that's monitoring the train that sits right here. But uh, since this train's heading back to Kennedy, it's gonna be on the um, it's going to the other side. So when it happens, the door pretty much like closes here. There have been rare opportunities when this train's like heading in, in like in like let's say heading east of McCowan. Like the front is not obstructed. Most of the time it is, but only at the back is, is when you get the time here, so. Of course, this will be a piece of, piece of, <laughs> this will be a piece of history. So, you gotta enjoy it. Look, there's the time right there. I want to see if I can make it to the uh, 938 bus at the next station. And there's the uh, McCowan Yard. the same train crew. Oh, hello. Ah, too many people in the shot. Oh well. It's literally the height of uh, afternoon, now evening rush hour, around 5.15. And this is how dark it's been getting this early. Perfect! We got two meetups. Right here in my old hood, which I haven't been to in a really long time. And of course, the construction here on Silverthorn still persisting for the foreseeable future. I wonder what it's gonna be like for them working in the winter. Especially that's it's getting much colder now and today is just feeling like minus two. 
would love to do a walking video around here, but it's too cold to do that, and I just don't feel like it. The next station is Dundas West, Dundas West Station. Sorry if you guys can't see, it's actually fogged up my lens. Okay, there we go. Should be better. Yeah, it's stuff on my lens. Arriving at Dundas West, Dundas West Station. that the lens are slightly fogged up. Ah, oh, that's all right though. Look at that, the French snowballs at each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. They've been doing that for like 90 seconds. My question is, where's all this music coming from? I see somebody with a gimbal. Oh, it's probably recording. Look, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> this is where the Christmas tree would normally be every holiday season, but it was a week or two ago that Cadillac Fairview announced that they're not bringing it back this year. So in place of that, they added this little, well this looks to be a little stage there. This is covering the fountain right here in the mall's uh, center. And look, you got like a little curtain right there and a piece of cardboard. I don't think it's because it was due to the renovations, or maybe it is, because look at all the scaffolding out there. What? They <laughs> they already added up the, uh, some of the decorations there. Let's look into the south. And then there's more of them um, hanging down behind me, but I'm not gonna spin around. Okay, there's not much. But, ah, uh, it's very disappointing that, uh, they're not uh, bringing the tree back. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I did not even notice this until I just came around here to the other side. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because I've been going to this mall at least <laughs> like 
once two like two times a week and look how many changes are coming here to the mall but it's not just the changes but the decorations because you know cf is really doing something a whole lot different you know mariah Carey's is going to be in toronto next month i have a feeling she's going to surprise christmas shoppers on this very stage so imagine if that happens i'm going to be speechless and probably so are you well we're getting into the into the uh christmas spirits or the holiday spirit i should say but it's just absolutely stunning maybe i'll go to city hall who knows oh but they already they but they uh, just installed the uh, christmas tree there that's a good idea. This right here is the city's official Christmas tree. They put this up every single holiday season, but uh, I'm not that a huge fan of fan of it. They um, they were installing the tree, I think this past weekend, but there's still a whole lot of things to be put on. And this will be the site of the uh, annual cavalcade of lights, except instead of, each, of being just a weekend thing, it'll be the entire season, but without the fireworks. Normally at the cavalcade of lights, they would have fireworks, but just like last year, it ain't happening this time. So, uh, this is pretty much what an empty, almost empty Nathan Phillips Square looks like before we see the festivities start to uh, kick in. Probably like, end of this month or early this summer. I don't even know when Calvacado lights uh, open up. But it's definitely going to be around that time for sure. There's barely anybody here. Except for those that are probably like, tourists or something. And this is now a skating rink. Hasn't opened yet. Will be pretty soon. I mean, not so much, but the, the windshield is rather cold. And I'm stepping in crap here. Of course, I've been stepping on that all day. This is crazy for anybody who's driving in this. I mean, it was snowing hard when I left home today. And then it was on the streetcar, and then it just gradually uh, died down. But either way, it is very slushy out here. Busy 501 streetcar. However, it's short-lived for those passengers because they got to get up at Bathurst, I believe, and then switch over to the uh, replacement bus. <sighs> Look at that, the Christmas tree has been installed right inside the lobby of the Cadillac Fairview Tower. But of course, of course, I came out here. So I can show you guys all this. However, when I first filmed it, uh, the first weekend of November, they didn't have the uh, the trees here, nor the little uh, lights. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> that didn't get me though, it didn't get me! <laughs> wow! I think I saw that coming. 
Yep. <laughs> That, that's our, that's already on YouTube, that's for sure. <laughs> Woo. Oh god, now it's at one bar. Holy shit, they, I think they... <gasps> they removed the scaffolding! Oh my god, finally! Because when I was just here the other day, they had all the scaffolding and they finally removed it. And now people are actually starting to work on what's uh, on the uh, southeast end of the building right there. Ugh, it's a almost rush hour here in the city. That's for sure. Western Road in the distance. Madonna Station. Of course, it is not a friggin' Wi Fi bus. Wonderful. Why? Because they're all the way on the friggin' Jane route. How about that? Okay, guys, listen to this stop request bell. It sounds so amazing. Listen. Ding! On a 2006 Orion 7 OG Hybrid 1141. I did a video last month on I think 1143 or 45. They had a very good stop request bell. Unfortunately, there's no other bus model. Well, actually, there is. It's the OG diesels, but uh, there's none other. There's no other uh, buses that I know that have the, this type of stop request. So it's really, really cool. I love it. Probably brings us back to the old days of riding uh, TTC buses for sure. Apparently because this is the aftermath of uh, the snowstorm, some people don't know how to drive. I read about, I read about it on Block TL this morning. Ah, just steps away from uh, where I live, but uh, rather than be out here in the cold, I'm gonna wait for the 109. In fact, two 109 buses. I, I saw I saw both of them uh, turn as uh, 1141 was just sitting at uh, Oakwood. But the reason why I got out here is because this traffic, because up ahead is Allen Road and Eglinton West Station. The only reason why I got out there is because. You know, let me see if I can time the one, uh, um, perfectly time the 109 bus without having to get stuck in traffic. So, again, I could walk from here, but everything I should remember is that these drivers love to lay over at Eglinton West. There's a Proterra right behind uh, a uh, next generation hybrid. I yeah, can't see it anymore, but. Oh, now you can. Wonder if that Proterra is gonna head into the station. I think it will. No, it's the 32D. All right. At the very beginning of afternoon rush hour today, being a Wednesday. November the 16th. Oh, hello there. I love these buses.
Look how many buses. One, two, three, four. This is really Orion country. That's one of my viewers that call it. No sitting Evo buses here unless it's a school tripper running on the 32. Okay, my bus is right behind the 32 one. Look at that, eh? Run number two. money on on freaking uh, advertising instead of uh, you know focusing on their essential services really and, and, and also they have their own uh, commercials like on the radio like I heard like I think it was two, two days ago on like Sportsnet fighting the fan I heard that stupid uh, um, commercial again so again stop wasting money on ads and just Use it to fix uh, fix our infrastructure and uh, vehicles and stuff like that. Ugh, little bullshit. I thought I would point that out. Yeah, be gone. Well, class just got cancelled. I pretty much came all the way here for nothing. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna go to Roberts for like 12 noon, uh, so I'm gonna use the next few hours to probably film a bus ride and a streetcar ride maybe, and hopefully I can squeeze in a walking video as well. And by the way, you guys should probably know where this is if you've ever been here before. Highland Creek is just down there, and that's a fountain. That's it. I thought, oh, I thought that was a fountain for a second. Maybe that's just a, a little pond here. Oh, it's frozen too. It's so cold today. Yeah, look, look. Most of it's just frozen over. And I think same with that one as well. Well, anyway. Man, it is so freaking cold. Oh, man. And it's... What's the time around 9.45 in the morning? It's always very cold at this time. Oh, damn it. I think I just missed my bus. Ah, oh, That's for 9.05. Oh. Just want to take that to Kennedy and then get on the damn subway. Oh, man. And for the first time, this season I am wearing a toque that's what we call winter hats here in Canada so yep that is definitely my bus he's turning onto military trail I visit a loop around down Morningside to, to uh, Ellesmere and just go down from there oh man Jesus Christ anyway I have seen this sign many times. I think it was at the uh, Taste of Lawrence Festival um, back in July. So I got that in my shot and then how the hell did they decide to move it all the way here to UTSC? Of course, each letter is unique because you know it's representing the diverse culture of uh, the borough here. But unfortunately, Oh, I know why letter C is a uh, letter C is all uh, kind of tagged on. It's because uh, that is just uh, um, this representing uh, indigenous culture, I believe. Very much looks so, and uh, so there's a lot of people out there that are just fighting for it. So that's why they wrote land back.
these are incandescent light bulbs that flash whenever a bus is down on the platform like this one here it's on the uh 69a which is which is uh my mom is an old root uh when she lived uh at birch cliff it's very unique no other station has this well maybe i think victoria park in islington had this if i'm not mistaken but uh uh, of course, this station is going to be completely modernized and rebuilt in the coming years. So this is uh, it's <laughs> it's going to get to the wrecking ball very soon. See here, bus set platform. See, it's it's one of these it's one of these moments when you you know you're you're, you're right here. You're waiting for the bus, and then the minute you see this flashing. <laughs> All you gotta do is just make the, the mad dash right down the stairs just to catch the bus. My mom did that when she was taking the 69 home. In fact, I am waiting for that bus right now. Oh, the station's gonna kind of lose its charm. It's not gonna be the same uh, when it's uh, completely rebuilt. So I am gonna miss this, uh, the, the, the original Wharton station for sure. I was just filming a walking video along Enterprise Boulevard and we got a northbound Stovall Gold Train probably heading to Mark uh, probably heading to like Mount Joy or something. Yeah, it's freaking cold outside though. So I saw my video so I can uh, catch this. I don't know if it's gonna be on the uh, random highlights uh, compilation or just a separate video. Right here at Unionville Station. A southbound train a southbound train just passed. Well, it was on the other side of the uh, the tracks, and I knew that and I knew there would be a northbound train coming this way. So, I apologize that the stupid camera is going out of focus. The 
Yeah, there you are. I came back here in July with my friend who lives around here. And ah, it's the only black and white flooring that is still around. I remember the uh, the checkerboard flooring at the Yang and Blur location on the fifth floor where all the furniture is. But uh, I absolutely love it. Also, this door is kind of original. It feels like a was built in the 70s and just everything is original including the elevator that I just filmed I don't really do this type of stuff like I used to before but and they have like wooden flooring over there too We're at a trading Nova bus LFS, but it's pretty. It's actually really common to see TTT buses in this area because that's the that that bus would be on the 129 Macau route. Speaking of which, here it comes heading northbound to Major McKenzie. Okay, came a long ass way from uh, Scarborough Center Station, and of course, since we're in Markham, you're, that means you're in a different fare zone, which means you need extra fare if you're if you're going north of Steeles which I think it's pretty stupid that you gotta pay an average fare. And I also do have to get back into the city limits, but I because of the, I have a monthly pass and fortunately it doesn't work when you're uh, transferring, when, when, you, when you board the bus here in York Region, you exit in Toronto. just right outside of Markville Shopping Center where I had to like wait what 20 25 minutes for my KFC order freaking ridiculous and that kind of made me miss the bus so I'm gonna still do a walking video so since I charged my camera battery and so because it was low when I was filming the last one I'll get my seat again.
Yeah. Oh man. It's a service adjustment. It's nothing like too serious. There's something happening at the next block. 